Welcome back everybody to another exciting Pokemon video. In today's video, I'm going to be opening up two different mail packages that I have recently received. Um, got both of these on Black Friday. Uh, just been sitting on them for a while. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna get into it. Uh, so the first package here, um, I actually got uh, from participating in a Pokemon break over at PokemonBreaks.com. Um, I asked and they were nice enough to include um, this box that was included in uh, the break with it. It is completely empty, um, but just something fun that I figured I could add to my collection. Um, so yeah, I'll just kind of set that in the background for this video. Um, and then, so for Pokemon Breaks, if we don't know how this works, uh, there was different products that were opened, uh, in the break. Uh, this has my name on it, but it's just, um, basically the type I was assigned. So in this break, we opened up. Uh, different packs from Unified Minds, Cosmic Eclipse, Unbroken Bonds, and uh, Tag Team All-Stars. There may have been another one, I don't... Oh, Hidden Fates. Hidden Fates was also included um, in this break. And so, um, I ended up getting assigned the Fairy Typing. So anything uh, Reverse Hollow, or better. Um, I ended up getting the fairy typing on that. And everything else, we just split all the bulk amongst everybody uh, that participated in this break. So here's the bulk that I ended up getting uh, from this. So there could be um, non holo rares, common and uncommons um, in all of this. It's just bulk, so like here's a rare uh, Genesect. Um, the energy is randomly distributed through it as well. Uh, this is all from just different sets. Um, once we get towards the back, we're gonna have uh, some of the Japanese cards that were included in this break um, as the bulk as well. And then we will go through um, everything that is either in a sleeve or in um, the hard stack cases there. Lickitung, that's an adorable card there. Um, so here's some of the Tag Team All-Stars cards. We have the Pidgey there. We have Paris. Uh, is it Cherish Bowl? I don't remember the name of that one. Um, I do not know the name of these two here, but definitely some great looking artwork there. Uh, we got Parasect on that. Um, so again, I had the fairy typing, so my reverse hollow aromatisse there. And I had a reverse hollow rare uh, Togekiss. set those up there okay so in the sleeves um, we did get a reverse hollow fairy type energy again that was my typing and in the Japanese tag team all-stars we ended up getting two of the holographic fairy energies unfortunately we did not pull the secret rare fairy energy uh, in the break um, so, in the break of the fairy types, I ended up getting Wigglytuff GX. We got uh, the three babies on there, and we got a Whimsicott GX. Uh, definitely the three babies was my favorite pull uh, from this break, but I enjoyed seeing the Tag Team All-Stars opened up. 
Um, and then the second package um, for this opening, um, I got this from Troll and Toad uh, while they were doing their uh, Black Friday sale. Um, let's see here. Yeah, that's everything out of that package. Um, so the fir first thing here, uh, the Japanese Tropical Islands Jungle Set. Uh, I believe this actually came from uh, TCA Gaming, but is fulfilled by Troll and Toad. Um, beautiful sealed product, never been opened. Uh, yeah, definitely very happy to be able to add that to my collection. Not sure where to be able to put that, where we can still see it. Um, then I, I did open this just to verify that everything had come in in the order, um, but I ended up buying just a bunch of singles of my personal favorite Pokemon, Gyarados. So we have the hollow and the reverse hollow of that one. Got that one. Just a fun artwork. Just Gyarados under the sea there. Uh, the Gyarados G. A little bit of an older card there. Um, another hollow Gyarados. Uh, Gyarados with the fisherman. Always a fun one there. Um, so from Evolutions, um, in all the Evolutions packs I've opened, I haven't been able to pull the hollow or the reverse hollow Gyarados. So I just pulled the trigger and bought those. They were really cheap, so I was happy with that. Um, and then the last card I bought is a card that I never got as a kid, but I always really wanted. A Hollow Base Set Gyarados. Um, it's definitely not in the best of conditions, uh, but it was fairly cheap. I only paid a couple bucks for it, so I'm really happy to be able to add this to my collection. Um, and then the last thing that I got um, as part of this sale. Um, I wanted this pack. Um, I have debated whether I was going to open it or leave it sealed, um, but I think I am going to open it just to see if I'm able uh, to get a bird's card out of this. Um, I see most people with Japanese packs, they uh, trim the tops, but I want to see if I can preserve the pack art, at least on the front. So I'm trying to open it very carefully. Slide that out there. So it is a Japanese pack, so I believe it's one to the front. So we have a Licky Licky. Oh, I don't remember that one's name. It's not coming to me. Um, is it Snover? I'm really bad with all the new generation. Pokemon, we have Noctowl, and on the very end, we have a Hollow Victini. Well, guys, that's the end of what I bought for this video. Uh, so let me know what your guys' favorite pull from this video was down in the comments down below. Um, these are probably my three favorites right here. Uh, just some beautiful cards. Very happy to be able to add this base set Gyarados to my collection. Super excited to have that. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to uh, continue seeing exciting Pokemon content, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notifications so that you're notified every time we upload a new video. Thank you so much, guys, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.